A question we get all the time at Measure It is, how do you modify the Measure It content for Oracle EBS if a customer wants to add new stuff or customize the existing environment? So in this video, we'll show you two quick lessons that took about 30 minutes to do in total on how to add some new content as well as edit some existing content in the EBS reporting in Oracle MLX Cloud. There are four basic steps in the process of modifying or creating new content in Oracle BI environment. The four steps include first, modifying or creating new database views. Second would be adding those views into your BI repository, which includes importing the view object, creating the joins, and migrating your new rows and tables to the presentation layer. The third step is uploading that new repository into your BI environment and refresh in that environment. And last, obviously, test your changes before you roll that out to new users. In the first step, we're just in SQL Developer. We have the two new views, and we will just click on them and hit Run and commit your changes to the database. Once this is done, your views will be in the database and ready for your Oracle BI environment to import them in, do your joins, and all of the other efforts. In step two, the goal is to take the views that we modified and added to the database and import them into the Oracle BI repository file. This includes importing the views, creating the new objects, which may include a dimension or adding the new columns from the view, adding any new joins between objects, and then migrating the objects to the presentation layer, which is what a user will see on the front end. To begin importing your new views, right click on the connection pool and click import metadata. Here we will select the views checkbox to only look at views and then we'll click OK and then next to get started importing our columns. Once we get the import metadata dialog we're going to import from the app schema and then in the find window click XXBI and then the find because these views begin with XXBI and there's a lot of views and apps that we don't want to scroll through. Now we'll scroll down and select the two views for fixed assets. So pick the two views we modified, highlight them, and then use the arrows in the middle of the screen to move them to the right half uh, of the screen, which is your selected area. And then click Next and Finish. And this will import them into the physical layer of the Oracle BI repository. Let's start with the FA depreciation fact and select those four new columns. Once you open the folder with that table, you can click on the four new columns by holding the control key down and then selecting each of them with a click and drag and drop them into the business model layer um, right on top of the folder at fact FA depreciation. Um, once you've put them in that folder, click on all four of them again because you'll notice they're all uppercase um, and use the right click and the rename wizard option. In here, this dialog will allow you to change the spelling of all of these to, in this case, we like a nice mixed case with the upper on only the first letter of each word. So going through that dialog, double check real quick and then hit finish and now you have the right spelling. And then next, just double click on the folder heading and in this little dialog, we will just reorder the sort of the columns. And order is just important for you know the user perspective important things on the top. Once your columns are re-sorted, we can go ahead and open the presentation layer for fixed assets and go to the folder where we want these new columns, which will be the fixed asset depreciation attributes. Highlight the four columns in the business model and again just drag and drop them to the presentation layer. You'll notice they go to the bottom of the option here, so we just need to double click on the folder header again just like in the business model, we will go through the sorting dialog to move those columns and keep the sort the same as the business model. If you bring in a whole folder and they're already in the proper order in the business model, you don't have to go through the sorting process in the presentation layer. But in this case, since we're just adding a few new columns, they always go to the bottom. So uh, you can just drag them into the bottom and then resort them as you like. So now that we're done with the columns that we added to that view, 
we can start on the next view we added, which is the fixed asset location dimension, which is a brand new, entire new object. So start with creating an alias for the object, um, a nice name, dim fa asset locations, and hit OK. Once you have your alias created, the next step is to tell Oracle BI, you know, for this dimension, which fact table does it join to? So here we're going to click on that dimension and I'll choose all of the fact tables and fixed assets. This dimension only joins to a few. So in this dialog, the nice dialog, we can kind of zoom in, zoom out and get our picture. I like to order it so your dimension and facts are separated so you can see them better. Once you got your picture, go ahead and click on the new join link and just drag from fact to mint fact to dimension and then choose which columns that they are joined by and then just hit the OK button and your joins are complete. Now that the physical joins are complete we can take our dimension which is way up at the top dim FA locations dimension and drag it into the business model. So here I'll go up to the top and just drag it right at the top of the business model and now your dimension will be added to the business model layer. So as we did when we were adding columns, once we add it, we need to do a lot of renaming. So for the folder header, you can just click on it and rename it to a proper case to go with the rest of the naming convention. Once you've done that, open your folder up and you can highlight all of your columns within this folder. Use the right click rename option and change the spelling of these. Once we're done with that task, you can go ahead and reorder them in the order that you want a user to see them. Again, I like to do that with the primary columns at the top, the secondary ones towards the bottom. Now that we're done renaming, we can go ahead and double check the order, and then this will be ready to be moved to the presentation layer. Now that we've created the logical columns, we can right click on the fixed asset folder in the presentation layer and choose new presentation folder. So then we can give that folder the new name, which will be uh, Fixed Asset Location Dimension. And once we've created the folder, then we can drag and drop all of the columns from the business model into this folder. So let's go ahead and drag and drop all of the new columns, which were previously sorted, into the FA Asset Location Dimension. Um, we don't want that dimension at the bottom. Dimensions go towards the top when we build a nice presentation layer. So let's right click on the folder header and then just pull it up and add a new sort where we want to put the asset location. Let's put it right under the asset dimension itself. That looks like a nice order. So now we can see we have all the new columns in the presentation layer. So let's shrink everything up because we are pretty much done. We've done our two tasks. We added four columns from a updated view and an entire new view which created a new dimension and now we want to go into the file menu and check global consistency called auto fix this is where Oracle BI is just checking and make sure we didn't mess something up it does a lot of checks that are confusing you can get warnings or errors we have two warnings that we're familiar with in this repository so that is just fine we'll click OK and then we'll click save in this case we're going to save this with a new name just for a good way to keep track of your different updates. So give it a new name, save it. Once we're done with this, we will update the repository to the Oracle BI presentation server, and, which is in another video, and we will be ready to roll and test our changes. Now that we have modified the repository, the next step is to upload the new repository up into the Oracle BI world and refresh the metadata, which will allow users to see and use the new fields that we added. Before we upload the new repository, let's take a look at the existing one from the presentation layer perspective. Here notice under FA depreciation there's only three columns, and we added four more to the presentation layer so we should see them after the update. So let's jump over to the console and get the update started. 
To upload a new RPD, just click on the Replace Data Model within the Snapshots area. Here you can also see we have some snapshots that we've created as backups before we do this. So select your repository from your local drive, and then click OK. Type in a new password for your repository, and hit OK, and it will begin the upload up to, in this case, Oracle Analytics Cloud Instance. So once your RPD is uploaded, you get the little green message at the top of the screen that says data model was successfully replaced. So the next thing I want to show you is now that I've done that, since I'm also a user in Oracle BI in another browser window, you can see here that I do not see those changes that we just made. So that might be uh, curious for you. Um, I'll also show you under new analysis, you don't see the new columns in that area as well. In order for a user who's currently logged in to see the changes, we need to refresh the metadata. Or I could just simply log out and log back in, and then I would naturally see those changes. So I'll just show you those things one at a time here. So here, as I'm trying to create a new report without the refresh data, I don't see it. I could always go to, up to this little button and click Refresh Server Metadata, but that's only available to admins and not available to your regular users. So let's see what happens if I close Oracle BI and then just re-log back in. So once I sign back in to Oracle BI, you'll notice that when I go to New Analysis and I take a look at the available fields and fixed assets, the new fields will be there. So you can either log in, log out, or um, refresh server metadata and users will see it on the fly. So here you can look in both areas, both the FA asset location we added fields, and we added fields to the FA depreciation fact folder. So now we can see all of our fields are there and ready to be used in new or existing reports. And thanks for watching. That wraps up this topic for adding and editing an Oracle BI repository for use in both Oracle BI on-premises, Oracle Analytics Cloud, or Oracle BI Cloud Services. Basically anything Oracle BI that uses the repository for the metadata.